Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to chat about artists who have one element of their visuals that is really really strong. So it's kind of a lead on to my previous video which was about different methods of doing your visual branding. So if you haven't seen that yet then make sure to watch it after this. I'll link it up here. If you're new here, welcome, please join us and subscribe. I make videos regularly about all things branding, social media and visuals for independent music artists. And let's dive right in. Okay, so before I spoke about different methods of doing your visual branding, and this is slightly different because it's about artists who have one element of their visuals, so say cover art or staging or styling, and that is their like dominant force. So their visuals as a whole aren't necessarily their dominant force, but they've taken one specific element, okay? So we're gonna look at a few different artists. Okay, so I am going to mention Melanie Martinez again. I know I mentioned her in the video previous, but I feel like she is the artist that links these two videos together. So her method of branding was literally going forward with one theme, 100%. She sticks to pastel colours. She has like childlike elements, really over the top, um, and also a dark undertone with adult themes. Um, and she sticks to those things 100% of the time and develops them as she goes on. So that for her comes into her styling, it comes into her staging, her cover art, and every single element of her visuals is encapsulated by that theme. So she is the first one we're gonna look at today and that is why, because she literally encapsulates that theme in all aspects of her visuals. She covers all bases. Okay, so next up we have Lady Gaga and she, as you probably know, is known for or was known for having these crazy over the top outfits and it got to the point where I think every event or every award show, every performance, we were waiting for what is she going to do next? How is she going to push these boundaries further? We had the meat dress. It really became iconic that she really pushed the boundaries with these outfits and kept going further. It kept sort of satisfying the need for people to see what she was going to do next and how she was going to make it bigger and better. And obviously that is comes under fashion styling. And that is just one little slither of the visual brand. But that for her was really iconic. And I don't, for me, her staging in various performances hasn't been super memorable, but her outfits have been the thing that has really stuck out. So again, it's just an example of taking one little slither of the visuals and running with that. So if you feel like, oh, you know what, staging isn't big for me, but my outfit and my accessories are, then you can run with that as well. So you don't have to, if you feel like you're a visual heavy artist, but not everything is clicking for you, that's okay. And these artists are examples of how they have taken one element and gone with that. Whether that is intentional or not, I do not know. Okay, so next up we have Kiss, and this is a bit different, but again, there's a couple of things here. So one is their stage outfits and makeup. That is just iconic, everyone knows, and they are so, probably the most recognizable band in terms of that. It's what they're known for, and also their logo. So here they've taken sort of three elements of the visuals, makeup, styling, stage outfits, and logo. So I would argue that their logo is one of the most recognizable within music. There are others that come to mind, Rolling Stones, Nirvana, but for me, theirs is up there. Um, and for Lady Gaga, for Melanie, for Melanie Martinez even, their logos don't come to mind. I don't, I don't know them like I know the KISS logo. So again, totally different style of music, totally different visual style, but equally as visual heavy, okay? But they've run with the logo, makeup and stage outfits. And obviously this comes under doing what is sort of considered safe for your genre because they are glam and obviously the makeup and the big staging outfits does come into that. So there's a talking point there as well, but they have made this really recognizable brand from, from, from their stage outfits, their makeup and their logo. Uh, they are the most dominant parts and it's still recognizable today. Okay, so this one is a little bit more subtle and maybe obscure to put in here, but hey, 
that's what this channel's about. Okay, so I wanted to look at Mika. And if you don't know Mika, then Google listen to his music. Um, if you're in Europe, you probably know him more, I think. I have no idea. But he is an interesting one to look at because, again, he is very visual heavy in certain aspects of his brand. So his cover arts, and I'll put images in, are full of colour, full of vibrance, full of creativity. There's cartoon elements. But his actual image, so his styling, is very understated and very classic. So it's just an interesting contrast there. And again, it's just another example of how you can make all this work for you and how contrasts work. If you feel like you don't wanna wear crazy outfits, but you wanna have crazy staging, that's fine. So I'm just giving you these examples again, just to broaden your own ideas and inspiration and all that. So Mika, cover arts, woo, crazy, fun, colorful styling super understated and his staging so i did actually see him live back in the day and his staging was it was probably one of the best productions for me that i've ever seen it was a big show big staging and again it was super creative it was super out there he had people dressed up as bears and bunnies playing like makeshift homemade a big drum kit um it was a real add-on from him playing live music. It was adding value in its own right. It was just a massive production that just added so many dimensions. But again, I don't remember him, and maybe he has worn crazy outfits, but I never remember him. I've never seen him in crazy outfits. He's always been quite elegant and slick and classic, but the album cover and the staging is really where he's pushed the visual creativity. So just an interesting one. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you don't. Okay, and I did touch on this in the last video, but I'm just gonna bring it up again because I think it's important. There are other artists, David Bowie, Madonna, Taylor Swift, who are all long-standing artists and they have arguably done that by reinventing themselves. So I know David Bowie even has different characters or had different characters, but they all have reinvented themselves and had visual eras for kind of each album or each era of their musical growth. So that is again, a different way of doing it. But in that sense, all the elements change. So the styling, the makeup, the photos, the imagery, the music videos, the staging, the cover arts, even websites, social media currently, all those aspects change within each era, just in contrast with the artists that, you know, pick their elements. And I also, just at the end of this, I just wanted to nip in there, Scissor Sisters as well. Staging, iconic. Um, again, similar to Mika, a lot going on, big productions, really over the top, people in outfits, oversized, houses and things just i'll try and find an image it's not necessarily what you'd expect from the cover art just throwing some ideas and some examples at you for how you can literally pick and choose even within the visual brand you don't have to represent yourself through visual eras if that feels not right for you you can literally pick staging pick styling pick makeup pick logo and have a dominant part of your brand within one of those elements. So yeah, so basically you have a million options. If you feel you are a visual heavy brand, you can look at the methods and maybe one of those methods will be right for you or a single element will be right for you. And obviously there are even more options out there, but these are the ones I have shared so far. Rather than be known for your music and your visuals, you could be known for your music and your staging or your music and your logo. It is totally up to you. It's whatever feels exciting and authentic to you. But yeah, anyway, I hope this was interesting and helpful. I know it is extremely niche. Um, I do have some courses for branding and for promoting your music on socials on my web shop. So please check those out if those are interesting for you or helpful. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.